Hello, what's up guys? Sky Size here and I'm going to show you another Pokemon X and Y hack. Uh, yeah, this is from Power Saves as well, as well as the Shiny Deancy I showed before and the Mega Latios and Latsia. So, I cannot get Hoopa. Um, this is the second Hoopa I got today because I have two of them now. One is Shiny, one is just the regular Hoopa. Look at that, Hoopa. Um, so, uh, yeah. That sound is really, really weird. I've never heard something like that before. So, uh, yeah, that's our new Pokemon. Um, it will probably, I'm, j I'm saying it probably get a Mega in Omega Ruby and Alpha Zephyr. But, um, yeah, I think that's it, basically. Okay, so I want to check this out for a minute because Hoopa... Has something to do with the rings. It looks like there's nothing happening here. Maybe at uh, 9. I don't know. Probably not. If so, I will keep you guys updated. Um, what you can do when you get Hoopa, by the way. Let's go to... to, 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 to. It should... Yeah, it's over there. Okay, let's go. Okay, so, uh, yeah, Hoopa is a psychic ghost-type Pokemon. So, Dark is four times effective. Bug is... No, normal effective. Um, what else do we have? Um, just let, let me think here. Ghost is also four times effective. And that's it, I guess. Ghost and Dark. Okay. Normal it has no effect. Um, I think we have to go upstairs, right? Yeah. Probably. Somewhere. Somewhere. Not here. There is some spot where you can go to. Obviously not here. Okay, there we go. It's one of these doors. No. Okay, there we go. Here's the guy. No way! Could that be the mythical Pokemon Hoopa? That you have there with you? I can't believe it's true. See, I travel around the world trying to solve its many mysteries. I've been uh, researching supernatural events that have occurred over the last hundred years. One thing I've found is that the mythical Pokemon Hoopa is connected to many of these strange events. I've also managed to come across some information about the mysterious power that Hoopa appears to wield. So without further ado, I'd like to share my findings with you. After all, you're actually traveling with Hoopa, the very subject of my research. What would you like to know about Hoopa? Okay, uh, it's mysterious rings. It's sad that Hoopa can use its power uh, of the three rings it adorns itself with to move objects about its places okay okay uh, that's not all I've also heard that when Hoopa unleashes its full power the size of the rings can grow up to multiple miles in length with such massive rings apparently it can transport even entire islands there is is there anything you would like to know? You are sure. The secret of its lair. It's said that Hoopa's lair uh, is overflowing with the objects and treasures it nabbled over the years, claiming them to be its own. 
Rumor has it that there are mountains of gold and silver treasures that it took from uh, ancient kings and wealthy land barons. I hear that Hoopa's lair is in an oasis in the desert, but no one's been able to find the place. A desert, desert. Okay, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, there's a desert there. Will we go there? Who knows? Maybe. It's deeds and exploits. Um, there, There's a tale about an organization that tried to manipulate Hoopa's power for their own benefit. After a while, certain objects that belong to the organization, Mr. Lee, began to disappear. Everything from weapons and vehicles to money, it all began to vanish one by one. The organization got scared and decided to hole up uh, uh, inside of their headquarters. Once they did, things stopped disappearing just like that. Relieved that it was finally over, the organization finally decided to step outside. It was then that they discovered their headquarters had been transported wholesale to somewhere in the middle of a desert. Terrified of what they had unleashed, the organization prompted this bandit. Okay, so that's uh, the story about Hoopa. Whether Hoopa becomes a trustworthy partner or ends up bringing about great misfortune depends entirely on the trainer. I hope you don't forget that. I think Hoopa will turn right as rain with you at its side. You look like a trainer who knows how to take care of his Pokemon and treat them right. Well, I hope you end up having lots of fine adventures with Hoopa. Have fun. Okay, so we have Hoopa right now. Uh, let's see, what can we do with that? Yeah, we can train it. Uh, I know Hoopa has this special attack and it can only learn at a level 50 or something. So I guess I have to level it up a little bit. Uh, yeah, I could do that in a video, but that would take too long. Um, I will of course make some uh, videos later about all this. Um, I'm getting, yeah, I'm getting some more Pokemon. Obviously, I'm going to play Omega Ruby and Alpha Zephyr. Uh, there we go. I can show it in battle. It will probably look really nice. Um, let's take the normal Hoopa first. Use my. Shiny Veltal here. Okay, let's see. Level 10 Pokemon, so let's go to Centelin City. Looks all really nice, right? Um, I am all also trying um, there's probably nothing else you can do with Hoopa in this game because this game is very very limited and there's like I said nothing um, there we go okay there's Hoopa now Oh, it only has one attack, really. Confusion. That was a quickie. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Let's get the shiny one. The thing is, maybe this strange souvenir is also linked to Hoopa. But everyone's thinking like, what does the strange souvenir have to do with anything? It is from some region we don't know yet, and stuff like that. Uh, I'm, I think I have one on my in my inventory right now because I totally hacked this game to hell. And let's see, let's see, I probably have it. Like this is my Y version, uh, my X version is totally legit. All this stuff, trained Pokemon. Good natures, stuff like that. Effort values are individual values. Um, Pokedex. Wait, there is a Pokedex, of course. But the X Pokedex should have an other. 
another entry. Okay, so here's Hoopa. I always like to get the shiny version in there. Like the Deansi here. Okay, let's see. Um, It gathers things it likes and passes them through its loop to teleport them to a secret place. Alright. That's why it has the uh, magician ability that... Okay, let's see. Ability. The Pokemon steals the held item of a Pokemon it hits with a move. Yeah, it's really a thief. Um, too bad fling is not a ghost type move. But that would be really nice. Um, I think... Do I have them? Do I... I think I have the item. Yeah, I have everything. Okay, then it should be somewhere around here. Let's go to the bottom. All the way to the bottom. Look at that fairy gem. It exists. Strange souvenir. Nothing happens. Okay, uh, I was thinking maybe something would happen. Um... Yeah, th there is. These are like all the items that are in Pokemon X and Y at least. So uh, yeah, that's that's all the things you can get here. Even the things from the special. Look at this. Even the the relic stuff. Yeah, you you don't need all those things. So I wonder why it's all in there. Okay, so um, yeah, that was it. Um, this is Hoopa. Oh wait, let's let's pet it. Let's pet it. We always want to see that shit. Um, also, uh, a Z Float is available through Power Saves. So I already, ha I still have mine from the first, uh, yeah, release of the hacks. So uh, yeah, let's go and pet Hoopa. See, Hoopa, motherfucker. Look at that. Yeah, you heard me. Okay, eat something. Nice. The rings, though. Nothing's really happening, okay, yeah. Of course not, it's just uh, Pokemon, I mean. Only if something happens while you touch the cheeks of Pikachu. Okay, so, um... Hoopa has a great special attack. Can be useful with Mothers, Natures, or maybe Timids. If you have the right strategies. Okay, then, um... I'd like to thank you guys for watching this. Uh, I will also test if you can trade this Pokemon. Probably not since the last patch. Um, some people believe that only things like uh, the Pokeball animations have changed. But that's not true. I am also not able to battle using my hack Pokemon. Like my shiny DNC and stuff like that. I have been able to do that before. So I will probably not be able to use these in battle anymore. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed it. And if you're into Nintendo games such as Pokemon, Kirby or anything else, why not subscribe if you haven't yet. Also, check out my new channel, Filthy D-Pad. We're doing all kinds of random game videos such as montages and epic moments of all kinds of games. See you next time.